nothing more impressive than a coffee that's perfectly made and beautifully presented. It's great for business. Customers love a coffee that looks and tastes great. Today, we're going to teach you how to get that wow factor that keeps customers coming back. Before we even think about doing patterns on top of our coffees, we need to do things slightly differently. We need to texture the milk correctly to enable us to draw the latte art. Although full cream milk tastes best with espresso coffee, we can use a low fat or soy milk. The key is texturing the milk. Choose a small stainless steel jug. 600 mils to one litre works best and half fill it with fresh cold milk. It is important that the milk is straight from the fridge. Purge and wipe the steaming wand and place the tip just below the surface of the milk. Turn it on and heat the milk to around 40 degrees Celsius or lukewarm. As the volume of the milk in the jug increases, maintain the same position. For this type of milk texture, we do not want volume, so it is important to allow the steam wand to stay well submerged in the milk. Heat to 65 degrees Celsius, then turn off the steaming wand. The milk should be shiny, velvety, smooth and bubble free. Most importantly, it should be the right consistency for pouring, a bit like thick pouring cream. If there are any bubbles, tap the jug on the bench. Keep the milk moving in the jug by swirling it until you are ready to pour. We need to extract the coffee first, so as soon as we've textured the milk, we can pour it straight away. We're going to start off with a few basic patterns to begin with. It's going to take plenty of practice and patience, so don't be discouraged and whatever you do, don't give up. Pour the milk against the back of the cup so that it forms a B. Using a skewer, scroll through it from side to side, then through the middle. Simple, but beautiful. Pour the milk into the centre of the coffee, bringing the crema up to the top with the milk underneath it. About two-thirds through, tilt and jiggle the jug from side to side. This will allow the milk to break through, creating a milky circle on the top of the coffee. Pull away from you to draw up the heart. Pour the milk into the centre of the coffee, bringing the crema up to the top with the milk underneath it. About two thirds through, tilt and jiggle the jug from side to side. Now pull through with a skewer down to the base five times. Then pull out from the base in between. Pour into the centre of the crema. As the white milk starts to come through, sway the jug from side to side, keeping it in the same line. To finish, pull away through the swirls. This pattern depends on a relaxed pouring action from the wrist. We're going to move on now and have a look at some patterns using chocolate syrup. They're a lot of fun and look great. The possibilities are endless. For these patterns you will need a squeezable bottle with a fine nozzle, chocolate powder, a cup, a dessert spoon, skewers and a good imagination. To make the syrup you'll need a double shot of espresso.
sprinkle over chocolate powder and mix thoroughly until it becomes a shiny syrup. Pour the syrup into the squeezable bottle with a fine nozzle and refrigerate until cold. Pour the milk into the coffee, carefully keeping the milk below the crema. Spoon a dollop of foam into the middle. With the spoon, take small amounts of foam and make eight spokes into the centre. Using a skewer, start from the centre of the coffee and spiral out to the edge of the cup in one fluid movement. Pour the cappuccino and sprinkle chocolate powder over the bottom half of the coffee. Then draw a chocolate stripe around the outside of the top. With a skewer, make spokes, like this. Then top with milk to create the sunrise. Pour the cappuccino carefully. You only want a small dot of milk to come through the crema on top. Spoon foam around the outside carefully, about one centimetre wide. Now define this with the chocolate syrup by drawing around the inside edge of the foam. Then another stripe around the small circle of foam in the centre. Now using the skewer, pull out eight times from the centre. Then another eight times in the other direction, working from outside. <laughs> Pour 
Pour the cappuccino carefully. Only allow a small amount of milk to come through. Spoon foam onto the centre. Define the foam centre with chocolate sauce. Then swirl through with a skewer. Finish with a small dot of crema in the centre. This time with a latte. Pour carefully against the back of the glass so the milk crema stays on one side of the surface. Draw four to five horizontal lines through the area on top of the coffee where the milk crema and the coffee crema meet. With a skewer, scroll through in a continuous motion. There are many variations of this simple pattern. These lattice patterns are great examples.